Hello there again, Matt Lovers, for the 2019 MTAP Reviewer MMC for Grade 5 Elimination. Okay, so ito na yung number 22 ng no 2019 uh, problem ng MTAP. Okay, so for number 22, what is the equivalent of the expression when written as a simple fraction? Okay, ang expression natin ay 10% plus 1% plus 0.1% plus 0.01% plus 0.001% plus okay, in depth, infinite times 6. Sinabi, may, may tatlong ellipsis yun, that means yung number ay walang katapusan. So all we have to do is to add numbers na walang katapusan. Okay? So ang, ang tawag dito sa problem na ito ay sum of infinite geometric sequence. Okay? Para mas, mas lalo nyo maintindihan kung paano ba kuhanin yung sum ng infinite geometric sequence, Okay? So, meron na akong video regarding the detailed discussion on the sum of infinite geometric sequence. I will just put the link on the description box para mas madali nyo maintindihan. So, for this particular problem, sasagutin lang muna natin kung ano yung as, kung paano natin isusulat ito as a one fraction. Okay? Simple, as a simple fraction. Okay? So, para mas madali natin masagutan, let us first uh, convert our percentage or percent into fraction. Okay. 10% is equivalent to 10 over 100. 1% is equivalent to 1 over 100. 0.1% is equivalent to 0 0.1 over 100 or pag nag-move tayo ng isang decimal, it will become 1 over 1,000. Plus, 0 0.01 is simply 1 over 10,000 plus 0.001% is simply 1 over 100,000 and so on times 6. Okay, ang formula natin to determine the sum of an infinite geometric sequence is simply a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Okay, where a sub 1, where a sub 1 is our first term and r is the common ratio. Okay, yung first term na tinutukoy sa problem na to, eto lang yung unang-unang number ng sequence. That means, that is 10 over 100. Okay, yung common ratio naman natin, ay yun yung difference, ay yun yung quotient when we divide the succeeding term to the previous term. Usually, uh, sinosolve siya gamit yung, yung dalawang magkasunod na term. Okay? I-divide mo yung, yung kasunod dun sa nauna. Okay? So, alam naman natin na ang first term natin ay 10 over 100. So, what we, are going, what we need to do is to find our R or common ratio. So, R is equal to 1 over 100 divided by 10 over 100. Okay. R is equal to 1 over 100 divided by 10 over 100 can be converted as 1 over 10 kapag sinimplify natin siya. Okay. So, R is equal to 1 over 100 we are going to get the reciprocal of 1 over 10 multiplied. So, times 10 over 1. Okay. So, that's simply R is equal to 10 over 100. Okay. Or R is equal to 1 over 10. Okay. Since alam na natin yung ating R, we are now going to proceed with the formula, with this formula. Okay, so our A sub 1 is 10 over 100 or simply 1 over 10. 1 over 10 over 1 minus, our common ratio is 1 over 10. Which is equal to 1 over 10. We are going to write it as 1 fraction. So 1 minus 1 over 10, we can uh, transform 1 as 10 over 10 minus 1 over 10. 
So that's simply equal to 1 over 10. Burahin ko na pa. Divided by 10 minus 1 is 9 over 10. Just copy the denominator. Okay. Pwede rin natin itong isulat in a form of 1 over 10 divided by 9 over 10. Okay. So that's simply equal to 1 over 10 times, get the reciprocal of 9 over 10 and that's simply 10 over 9. Okay. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 9 is 90. So when we simplify this one, we'll have 1 over 9. But the question is asking to multiply your final answer by 6. So we have 1 over 9 times 6 is equal to 6 over 9. Okay, that is not yet our final answer because we can simplify 6 over 9 by 2 3. So our answer for this problem is 2 3.